Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another quick YouTube video. I just want to talk about the Activision and Microsoft deal today. So, uh, if you guys obviously haven't heard, but I'm sure everyone's heard by now, uh, Activision was actually bought by uh, Microsoft for almost $70 million. I think it was like 68.7 mil, but it is still quite a bit. What does this mean for Activision exactly and the Call of Duty franchise and everything else? Well, Hopefully that means something good. I mean, it might be bad for the PlayStation players as Microsoft might try and do something to the Call of Duty franchise to make like all the PlayStation players want to switch over to Xbox and PC and whatnot to get them away from there or try and bribe PlayStation to get uh, like their Game Pass or anything on there because PlayStation is starting to come out with their own Game Pass type service. So from what I've heard, PlayStation's Game Pass is basically going to be kind of like Xbox's Game Pass, just everything, but they'll be including PlayStation Now, which was quite a big failure from what I've read online and whatnot. It's not very big, nowhere near as big as like uh, Xbox's uh, Game Pass, but Xbox has been working on their Game Pass for like, what, like 3, 4, or like, like 2015 I want to say, 2014, ever since like the Xbox One came out basically, I think they've had a Game Pass, but just like the past few years it has actually started to become pretty, uh, profitable and good for them and worth it because they have they just announced that as they bought the deal today they actually have 25 million game pass subscribers which i believe just like a few months ago they just reported that they got like 22 21 million i believe game pass subscribers so that's pretty insane and now that they acquired the biggest actually yeah i would say activision is probably the biggest gaming franchise Known the man right now that yeah, that'll probably go to like 30 35 million subscribers easily within the next year or two or whenever Activision Or when uh, the deal finally goes through in June of 2023 The one thing I'm hoping though is that maybe COD won't have yearly cycles or if they do it'll be a lot more uh, a Lot less broken and buggy than what the past few years have been cuz I have not bought Vanguard at all Do I ever plan on buying Vanguard? Hell the fuck no that fuck that game that game is so trash I will never buy that game in my life. I Regret buying Cold War. I got shadow banned twice on that game. I got a shadow banned once Got on shadow banned for like two days got shadow banned again again, and then I uh, I deleted that game and never and reinstalling that shit again That was like back during season one but I did like Modern Warfare 2019, I do still go back and play it, although it is completely broken. But the only fun game mode on there is Hardpoint, and yeah, it's kind of hard to find lobbies every once in a while because of the broken matchmaking on there. Which will lead me into my next point about what Microsoft will have to do once they acquire them, so... Listen, they, they're gonna have to go back and fix the good old Xbox 360 day, days in their games, because... Everything from MW3, BO1, COD4, World at War, COD3, COD2, all those games. Anything older than MW3 or older. All the games are broken. The matchmaking is completely busted. You cannot find a lobby. It is almost impossible, especially on COD4. It is basically impossible unless you're literally like, live like a few miles away from the person that's hosting, to be completely honest. Matchmaking, it takes like 30 minutes to find a match on like BO or uh, MW2 and MW3 because at least those games continuously search on like BO1 and World of War where they'll search for like two or three times and then they'll just give up. And then also with that, they need to go back in all, oh, I highly doubt they will even fucking do, but for Steam and matchmaking and whatnot, for MW2, BO2, MW3, all the games that have uh, actual matchmaking, not dedicated servers like here on COD4. They will actually have to go back and like fix the RCE exploits or just get rid of the servers because people I literally just saw on Twitter like uh, a few days ago I don't know if it was a sniper or some random but someone on Twitter was talking about how they're uh, They were playing BO2 Steam and someone got into their account because of the RCE or their uh, PC because of the RCE exploits and apparently they stole some PayPal info which I'm um, not really surprised about, that's why I don't ever play Steam anymore. I used to play it a lot back in like 2016, 2017 when I first got my PC. Or I should say, oh I have had a PC way longer than that, but that's when I really started getting into like PC gaming was 2016, 2017 I wanted to say. I've been PC gaming for, since I was like a little kid, I've always played like Flash games and stuff, but yeah. But if they don't go back and fix the RCE exploits, they will have to, I hope and pray that they actually do make a uh, I hope that they do actually go and uh, make a uh, COD online for console because that is honestly what they need because 
either they're gonna have to go back and fix the matchmaking for these games on Xbox and PC, or they're just gonna have to make a con online, which I'd much rather them make a COD online, but I feel like they would make it on like an MW2 engine so there'd be no bounce on the original COD 4, but my ideal thing would just be do the same exact thing as Master or the Halo collection where you can pick whatever game you want to play and it's on the same exact engine pretty much, but I would like that for COD 4 where you can pick COD 4 if you want to go on here and bounce one out. That would be pretty dope, but I don't know how likely that will be. Or if not, they'll probably just remaster every game or uh... Yeah, they'll probably just remaster every game, to be completely honest. But yeah, that's all I wanted to talk about today. I just wanted to bring those few things up. I hope Xbox goes back and fixes the old games. If not, I will still be trying to fix... Uh, I will still keep the... Yeah, they'll, they'll have to go back and fix the game, because it is honestly annoying playing with the broken matchmaking and whatnot. I'll keep my backwards compatibility up. If you want to... Oh, if you want to follow my backup account on Twitter, it's uh, PleaseFixBC. On Twitter, I basically just tweet or retweet a bunch of people that also tweet fix back compat because we really need to get the servers fixed because matchmaking is completely trash on these games. They need to get fixed, but that's all I wanted to talk about though today, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching if you stuck to the end and have a good day. Oh my fucking god, fuck me. Bye.